and questions what's today's topic let's talk about a keyboard deal and that's the logitech k800 wireless illuminated keyboard so if you watch my last video um, we did the mouse the wireless mouse from logitech i showed you how easy it was you know just to put the little usb dongle in and boom this thing on windows 10 automatically recognized it and it worked like immediately without really any setup now it works with Windows 8, and we'll go over some of the other things in a minute. But somebody said, well, hey, you know, are you going to do an unboxing? And I said, well, no, not really. It's uh, kind of boring, really, but I'll show you how it ships. Give me just a sec. Okay, so this is the box that it comes in, and you slide it out. And what you get, I'll show you in a few minutes, is you get, you know, a couple of cords with it. You get that USB dongle, and you're good to go. I mean, now, when I hook this keyboard up, it recognized it right away on Windows 10 and immediately, you know, I was able to use it. It's just like a plug and play, fast and easy to use. Okay, so you can read over here on the description on the right, you know, it's got the backlit display and somebody said, well, how does it illuminate? It's like, uh, it's kind of a soft white with a real light kind of a blue tint to it, but you can adjust it. There's a key up here above my head to the right that's in yellow. By holding that down and tapping, you know, the F keys, you know, above, which is, I think, F5, F7, if I remember. But anyway, one increases the brightness, the other decreases it. And so it says, well, you know, one of the questions in here where people got a little confused is the battery in here, is it changeable? Like when it dies out? No, it's really not but it's going to last you 10 days for me that wasn't really the driving point behind the purchase i mean i needed or wanted a new keyboard rather than the clunky generic one that i had so i went ahead and got this because it's on a sale price of 59.99 ships prime usually around a hundred dollars so like it says you save about 40 percent so for me i think this is a good bargain we'll go over you know some of the questions and answers in a second but how did i set mine up this will answer uh, a lot of questions that you know people sent me off of the forum i put the dongle in and it comes pre-charged the keyboard um, because i had there's a light indicator you'll see on the very upper right of the keyboard here where it has those three little dots and anyway it came you know totally charged so mine was working like immediately so i didn't need to worry about it now i have a desktop so i went ahead and i hooked up the usb cable uh you don't need to if you want it wireless but that usb cable will also charge or recharge it depending on you know how you're going to use this but i can simply unplug it move it around you know wherever i want and plug it back in now for me on a desktop i probably won't i'll probably just leave it plugged in okay but for you um you know having the wireless so that you can pick it up walk around with it or do whatever you want to do you know you might want to unplug it and do that but i leave the wire hooked up because i have plenty of ports on the desktop computer all right so let me change the picture and let's go over to some questions and answers. And uh, before anybody says, well, how powerful is it? It says over here, 2.4 gigahertz wireless. Okay, so here we go with the questions and answers. If fully charged, how long does it last? A couple of weeks, most people say about 10 days. Uh, comes with two cables. Uh, yeah, well, you know, the first cable, I mean, in this is about six feet long. The second cable to me, I just, it's like an extension cable. Now, I don't need it, but you could attach it to that first cable, and that would give you a total of 11 feet, which is like, wow. I mean, so I don't know if you need the 11 feet, and it may have other uses, but what's the warranty on it was another question. Well, it's a three-year warranty. I'm going to leave you the link below. I would tell you to click on it. I mean, take a look at it. If you want to add it to your Amazon you know, wish list or whatever, you know, just click it, add it to your cart. Or, you know, you can go through where it says 777 questions answered and like people will say, well, does it work with this? Does it work with that? And I can't answer really all those questions. But what I tell people is go to the question and answer section, you know, and as an example, you know, you could type in Windows 8 or something like that. And it'll come back to you, you know, with all of the questions answered, you know, relating to Windows 8. I mean, so that's one quick way, I mean, of finding out. If your particular needs can be met you know with a keyboard but from everything i read it's you know compatible and 
you know, even with Apple. So I don't know. I mean, give it a whirl and see, you know, about your particular instance. Okay. Other questions. How do I like the feel of the keyboard? It has a nice, you know, I don't want to say real soft feel on the keys, but I really like the layout of this keyboard. I mean, it's a nice layout. The, you know, the keys themselves, I mean, you know, they're kind of soft to touch. I mean, that's just hard for me to explain to you. If you have a some kind of a store nearby or something like Best Buy or something, you want to go out and see if they've got it and touch it, I understand. But it does have a nice feel to it, so I don't really know how to answer your question any better than that. Now, does it have an on and off, uh, you know, switch to it? Well, yeah, on the very upper right, above those three little lights right there, which are the charge lights to tell you, you know, where the battery is in terms of level, there's a little on and off switch. I don't use that, okay, because mine stays plugged in. But somebody said, well, you have to shut it off, like when you're not using it. Well, if it's a totally wireless that you're doing, then yeah, I understand. I don't worry about that because... If I don't touch the keyboard for a while, it kind of goes into a sleep mode. And when I come back over to the desk, I can just wave my hand real close over the top of it and the keyboard comes back to life and it comes on. Or just by touching the space bar or another key, the keyboard turns around, lights up and it's active again. Um, that's what I've noticed. And I mean, I really like that touch, you know, so it's, you know, that's it's that simple really, but it depends on your use. Okay, here, of course, is just another view of the Logitech keyboard, giving you a little bit of a close-up. I don't like going too much. It starts to get real blurry. Somebody said, well, if I want to get in touch with them, how do I do that? I'll leave you the number right now. Uh, what are the dimensions and how much does it weigh? It weighs about 3 pounds. The dimensions are 8.2 by 2.3 by 18.4. Is the keyboard uh, compatible or able to be set up with a smart TV? The answer is yes. Um, I don't know what kind of TV you have or whatever, but yes, you can set it up that way. And that's another nice feature because I've used that before just a couple of times. Most of the time, I'm strictly on my desktop, but yeah it will work with any smart TV. Okay, I didn't understand what you meant about the battery. Okay, it has a built-in battery to it. It's not um, a replaceable, rechargeable, like, you know, double A's or anything like that. It's just simply built into the unit. And that's what I'm trying to say. It has an average lifespan of two, or I'm sorry, two to three years, something like that, depending on what you read in the comment. I wasn't too concerned over the battery part of this. If you are, you know, you can dig into this deeper, but roughly three years, before you start noticing like any kind of degradation, I mean, in the battery itself, that doesn't mean it just totally gets shot. It means that, you know, it may not hold the charge as long and the battery starts to weaken after three years from what I read. Again, I didn't buy it, you know, for that reason. If after three years, the battery was to fail on me, it still doesn't matter to me because of the way I'm using it. I'm using it, you know, with that USB cord constantly to it. So... Okay, I'm getting a few questions off of the forum. Does it have a print screen key and does it have this kind of a key? This is just, it's really a standard keyboard. There's a couple of nice little added features to it, but overall, it's just a standard keyboard that's been enhanced, like it says. I mean, so that's my best answer. Again, if you go to the question and answer section on the link that I leave you below, type in your specific uh, question. I'm sure that somebody has already commented out of those 777 comments. Is there an audio mute key? Um, like I said, yes, there is an audio mute key. There is a print screen key. There are all those, you know, to me, standard kind of keys. Yes, they're all on here. Okay, one of the last questions is, where can I get another cable if I, if I need one? Um, I'm not sure why you would need one. I mean, the ones that come with it are fine. I would contact uh, Logitech. I mean, again, I've left you the phone number and I would buy another USB cable from them. Okay, now the thing is, will other USB cables work equally as well? I'm sure that they will, but I can't tell you, you know, all these off brands coming from all over the world, you know, if you're going to have compatibility issues or you're not. And I don't think there's not going to be that much of a price difference. I mean, maybe a couple of bucks, two, three bucks or something like that for you know, these standard USB cables. I mean, I'm sure that Logitech will point you in the right direction. Then you're hundred percent sure of compatibility. The other ones I've told, yes, they will work. But again, I mean, if you get some funky USB cable and it doesn't work, I don't know what to say. Maybe you got one laying around the house. I mean, try it. I'm sure it'll work. Many of them do and they work fine, but you can always stick with Logitech to be sure. Okay. Question relates to this USB dongle right here over to my right. Um, okay, so when I bought the mouse, which was before this, 
and the mouse hooked up right away, recognized it right away on Windows 10. There was no setup, like I said. Now I got the keyboard and it comes with a dongle like you see over here on the right. Do I need both of them plugged in? The answer is no, they all operate off of that same dongle. So you don't need, and it recognizes it right away. I mean, at least on Windows 10, which is my operating system, it's like a plug and play. I took this thing out of the box and it immediately when I turned it on, recognized, oh, okay, you already have, I guess, this Logitech you know, dongle hooked up and the keyboard was active immediately. Now, you could probably buy both of these together, the mouse and the keyboard, if that's what you want to do. And it's not the route that I chose. I mean, I got the mouse, like I said, if you look at the previous video, it's got a sale going on, just like here on the keyboard. And I just stuck with Logitech, I mean, for both of them. So yes, it'll work off of the same dongle. I consider this a good deal at the $59.99 price. I mean, if you're in the market for a keyboard or you want to upgrade, this is certainly something well worth considering. Check the link below. Like I said, I hope you click subscribe. Keep following me. I'm the home handyman. I hope you folks have a great day. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.